good afternoon. Uh, it's Saturday, not Sunday morning for those of, uh, well, well, not for those of you. I usually make my videos on uh, a Sunday morning, uh, but uh, uh, I've been invited to lunch tomorrow by a friend, so I'm not going to really have time. Uh, I wasn't well last week. I I had a, a chest, I've had a bit of a chest infection and, and uh, I was finding it very hard to get rid of. Um, I went to London to a, a conference and um, the, n the next week was awful, I, a, a really bad chest infection and then um, it was my mother, uh, mother's 80th birthday uh, on uh, last, well it was on Monday but we celebrated it on Sunday. So I caught the train down to home, and up, well up really, sorry, up to home and uh, the next day I was completely on my back again so uh, I didn't really have time. But uh, anyway. Uh, here I am to wish you all a, uh, well, a, a pretty complicated, in uh, this country, I don't think people get too het up about um, be, whether, you, you know, whatever, you, you know, seasons, greetings, Merry Christmas. Uh, I don't think the um, debate uh, between uh, the secular and uh, religious is quite that heated here yet. Uh, there are some silly things going around Facebook suggesting that certain councils with uh, whose composition is included, I've been insisting on calling it Winterville or things like this, which are all rather made up and it's rather silly, but it, in, a, in a sort of feeble attempt by uh, bigots to try and uh, whip up some, uh, uh, you know, inter-community uh, strife, but... Uh, uh, by all accounts, they failed because I think you know the British uh, uh, person, sort of national character, if you like. I don't like it, but uh, it isn't quite uh, you know bothered by such things. But anyway, anyway, this is a pipe video and not a, uh, a, a, a sociological discussion of uh, uh, language and at the time, you know. Anyway, so it's but today is the twenty first of. Uh, of December, uh, two very important things. Uh, one, uh, it was Frank Zappa's birthday. Uh, I'm a bit. I like Frank Zappa. I kind of came across him in the 80s when I was, when I was still young, uh, and um, have uh, continued. Uh, it's uh, you know it's difficult music, uh, but I you know and it, you know it requires a certain amount of uh, of um, time and effort to listen to it but i think that's a good thing uh the kind of, i think music's in a sort of downhill spiral uh, in many respects there's still some great stuff out there some fantastic bands and so on but the sort of mainstream of music is now completely populated by uh utter rubbish uh I, i'll give you an example uh Michael Bubble, or however you pronounce his name, who's basically um, a uh, Frank Sinatra uh, impressive sort of uh, tribute act. Yet, uh, he, you know, he uh, is regarded as original and all the rest of it. Hey, which I find extraordinary. Uh, you know, uh, he's got a very good voice, but it's an impression. It's not his voice. He does a, a Frank Sinatra impression uh, and so you know what a popular artist uh, why not just go and buy a frank sinatra record i suppose if uh, like you know some people are going to see uh, uh tribute bands uh i'm trying to think of the name some of these uh, uh quite amusing anyway uh, you know so anyway uh, but it's awful awful um the the decline i think it was um it's going to be one of those days, I'm afraid. I've taken my, I have to take quite heavy painkillers at the moment, so my uh, ability to think straight is uh, somewhat uh, affected. Uh, yes, um, what was the name of that chap? The Decline of Anyway, The Decline of the West, it was called, and I uh, can't remember. It's an awful book, anyway. Um, so, uh, what's been going on? Uh, well, I'm smoking uh, the old Dunhill Ruby Bark here with. Uh, some dark door spelled d apostrophe capital o r uh, a little uh, a little um invention of my own uh 
Well, a blend of mine. Uh, it's a blend of Condor and dark uh, Gautenhoggers dark flake. Um, you can appreciate it's rather strong, but it's what I call my travel tobacco. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you want something that's going to, you know, give you a satisfying smoke, uh, uh, but you're only going to be able to have brief snippets of smoking. So it's a, a, a very strong, not one, <laughs> not one to have with your breakfast. Um, and uh, I, I quite, uh, I like to uh, smoke it when I'm on the travel or staying away. Uh, I'm going to my mum's uh, for a few days. Uh, I don't, I, she doesn't mind me smoking. Her, her close friend Martin, he's a pipe smoker and he smokes it. But you know, uh, I smoke a hell of a lot. To be honest with you, I get up in the morning and uh, pretty much. Uh, I'm smoking a pipe constantly until I go to bed, uh, so uh, it's quite strong. So I'm, a, you know, take, a, you know, just in terms of being polite in my mother's home. So I just take a, you know, a few puffs, put it back down, and, and I can, you can do that with something that strong. Um, I've been able to blend the dark door because I've got a wonderful uh, gift from Hayo, uh, uh, and if you're watching Hayo, thank you very much and season's greetings to yourself and Regina and I hope you have a lovely time so he sent me some condor so I was able to blend it with the old dark flake there there's it with that lovely jar sent to me by a friend uh, that will be going away for Christmas um, this one is uh, a jar I've, I've decanted them all of uh, Rattray's professional mixture which is a, a Scottish blend so a little bit of Oriental Turkish Latakia with a, a smidgen of Cavendish now I have to say uh, American Latakia blends seem to dump uh, huge amounts of Cavendish into that. I, 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 perhaps I'm sensitive to Cavendish. Uh, I find I, find, I just find them very difficult to smoke. I've had a, a tin of Frog Morton on the bike home for quite a while, and I, you know, I, what I do is now is I just have a bowl maybe once a week of it. And, and I find that doable, but I couldn't smoke that all the time. Uh, it's the, just the Cavendish is a bit too much for me. Uh, so an, an occasional bowl uh, once a week, I find it pleasant enough. But um, these, this tr is a traditional Scottish mixer, so it has that added Cavendish with the uh, with the um, Orientals and whatnot. Uh, and I have to say, uh, it's quite nice. It burns very hot. Um, so, you know... Uh, gentle perhaps a, a nice thick wall pipe to smoke it in would be a good idea to take some of the heat out of it so again a very one to sort of not gingerly sip but sip uh, you know you're not not like a mug of beer a, more of a, a fine wine or, or maybe a cognac maybe a cognac uh, and the other one was the best brown the old number two that's a Virginia Burley uh, which I really like uh, I have to say, it's a uh, it burns cool. It's a very beautiful taster. The Burley in Virginia is excellently proportioned, and uh, uh, I um, really like it. Really like it. So that's been decanted as well. So that was a lovely surprise. Um, I haven't been in touch with Ho for a little while. I must uh, must do uh, send him some uh, number two, or perhaps a bit of special blend or something. Uh, in in uh, in that direction. So other than that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, I have much to report. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, snuff wise, just to say, I oh, this little blend of mine of uh, Virginia uh, Bernard's Virginia and um, and their double fermented Brazil. The old double fermented Brazil, it's not cheap snuff and you only get in those farting little tipping out jobbies and it's so it's if, as snuff goes it's quite expensive. So I blend it with a with their straight Virginia, which is also a very Bernard snuff, you can't go wrong really. Uh, a fantastic tradition there of snuff making going back into the eighteenth century and uh, and and you know they still make it in the good old fashioned way I think. Uh, I've seen several videos. Incredible, uh, and what a what a uh, what a uh, an asset to one's culture that is. Uh, the other thing I like to travel with is the old Scruff, 
uh, can't get it anymore thanks to the European Union. Uh, I have to deal. I, you know, the problem is the only snooses, loose snooses that are left are thunder and things. Those are all quite strong. Uh, this is reasonably strong, but uh, I miss the general and uh, granite. I really liked as well. I thought that was a lovely one. But uh, well, there we go. Anyway, uh, that's that. I think I think we'll conclude there today's. Anyway, so anyway, I, I'm a, I'm in the black hole uh, for the next week because the reception at my mother's place is so appalling for the internet. Uh, it's not even I don't I don't even take my laptop. It's not worth it. I hardly get a signal on my phone. I have to sort of go and walk up the road a mile to do <laughs> it. So anyway, uh, so best wishes to you all. I appreciate your uh, time and effort. You make comments and things. I'm sorry I didn't get back to the last lot, but as I say, I've been really quite unwell. Um, <clears throat> you can probably hear it in my voice actually uh, so yes um, have a very nice Christmas week all of you and um, and again uh, I, I thank you for your support this year and uh, I hope that you'll be continuing the journey with me next year uh, as we sample further the delights of tobacco and I might buy the odd pipe as well you never know <laughs> okay so cheers to you all. Thanks a lot and bye-bye.